Hello, guys. Uh oh. Hold on, I gotta need something. Hold on. Okay, that should work. Yay, now I can't hear the echo. Sorry, I thought I had that muted on my um, other camera. Hello, it's Amy from Lulu Bean Designs. How are y'all doing today? Happy Friday, everybody. Um, I am already starting to paint because, you know, me and white paint and, you know, I just wanted to get it on there. So it was done. So um, I'm almost done painting this little backer here. So today we are going to be painting the um, Pocket Full of Sunshine Shaker Set. Say that five times fast. We talked about that yesterday, how hard these are to say. Um, okay, I've got that backer all painted. Um, so this week, all this week, we have been painting the projects for June in my SVG Clubhouse. Hold on, let me make sure I can see your comments. Y'all say hello and tell me where you're watching from. Um, hello, Sandra. And Kirsten. Oh, Kirsten, how are you? I haven't seen you on here before. Um, welcome. Okay, so if you, um, someone's uh, profile is showing up Facebook user instead of a name. So if you're watching from inside of the SVG Clubhouse on Facebook, then it's unless you give StreamYard permission to share your profile, then it's going to show up as Facebook user instead of your name. So I have no idea who you are. So if you see that pop up and you're watching from the SVG Clubhouse, then give StreamYard permission. It'll it'll like say it on your screen. Um, hello, Karen. Hello, Sandra. How are y'all doing today? Oh, uh, Sandra's watching from Southern California. Very nice. Hello, Michelle. How are you? Okay, so if you have um, tuned in all week long, we have been doing the projects for my SVG Clubhouse um, for June. So um, let me just talk for a moment about the club. We, um, I have a clubhouse membership that is a paid membership group um, that you can join. And we only open a few times a year and we're opening next Tuesday, which is June 1st, believe it or not, that is June already, it snuck up on us. Um, so the doors are opening for new members on Tuesday. And um, so I am sharing the projects that we are doing in the club for the month of June with you guys this week so you can see what fun projects we have in there. Um, it is $15 a month to become a member and um, what you get for joining is you get four files a month that are exclusive to the group. So they're not for sale anywhere else. They're not in my Etsy shop. They're not on my website. They're never for sale anywhere else. They're only in the group. Um, so you get those four files. Um, you get a 50% discount off of all of the files in my Etsy shop at any given time. So every month you get a new coupon code and you can get 50% off of any files that you want, unlimited. Um, you also get a monthly virtual paint party and I go live in the group and I paint once a month um, for you guys. And we do one of the projects live. Um, and then also you have the opportunity when you're a group member to go back and purchase past month's files. Um, so we have all the files for March, April, and May for sale in the group as well. So if you missed any fun projects those months, then you can hop in there and you can um, purchase the past month's files. Um, Sandra says, it's a great membership. Love it. Thank you so much, Sandra. So um, the four files that you get every month in the group, um, you always get a tiered tray file every month. And the tiered tray file is a what I call a one sheet wonder. That's where... It's all set up for you. It's all plotted out so that you can cut it on one 12 by 20 sheet of wood. So if you have a Glowforge um, and you use those 12 by 20 sheets of wood, I have set up the um, files so they're they're roughly like 10 by 19. So they fit nicely in there. They're not too close to the edges. Um, you can cut an entire tiered tray set out of one sheet of wood. So if you sell DIY kits or monthly uh, like kits or you do parties or whatever and you need to know like I'm going to need X number of sheets of wood for this group of people. You know exactly how many you need because each one is going to be in a sheet of wood and then you're done. You don't have to like move things around, resize them 
and all of that and try to figure all of that out. So all the work is done for you. Um, in fact, all the projects in the clubhouse are designed so that they fit on sheets of wood for Glowforge. So of course, if you have a bigger laser, then you know you can still do the projects, obviously. I have a bigger laser, but um, I just do that so that the people with the, the you know, Glowforge bed, if you don't have a pass-through door, then you don't have to struggle uh, with resizing and moving things around. Now, some of the files will take up more than one sheet, but I'm just saying that my, my tiered tray files, they are uh, one sheet. Um, so this particular um, project is one of the, um, the other projects that we do each month. So we do the tiered tray, we do a shaker set. So that's what I'm gonna show you today. This is gonna be a shaker set. So they are super fun. I love shakers, they're my favorite. Um, I just kind of came up with the idea one day and I made a whole bunch. There's a whole bunch for sale in my Etsy shop if you like these and you're interested in shakers. Um, but some of the shakers are exclusive to the group. So, <clears throat> excuse me. So you're going to see a sunshine. This is our theme this month. It's called Pocket Full of Sunshine. And it's all like denim pockets and daisies and just fun, bright, summery colors. Um, so you get, uh, like I said, you get the tiered tray file. You get a shaker. You get a door hanger. And then you get um, one other project that is like just a different, something different that doesn't fall in those categories. So it could be a shelf sitter, it could be a banner, it could be a, um, a an engraved project, like a keychain. We did keychains one month. Um, I'll show you the other projects that coordinate with this that are our June projects because we just finished those this week. This is the shelf sitter that we did. So it's our little blue truck with the sunshine, um, the daisy in the back of it. And um, I said yesterday in here, I gave you all a little hint, hint that you might as a group member, sometimes I give you all extra little fun things um, throughout the month. I just pop in and I'm like, hey, here's a free little, you know, extra file for y'all. Um, maybe you might see a couple extra things that you can put in the back of this truck. So hint, hint, um, be on the lookout for that if you are in the group. So that's our shelf sitter, our door hanger. Oh, hold on. I set my door hanger. I had it right here, but I set it over here on the table. So hold on one second. Let me grab it for y'all so you can see it. This is not glued down. So hopefully nothing's going to like move, shift around on me. I'll just lay it down so y'all can see it from the overhead camera. But this is the door hanger that we did. Let me move it so y'all can see the, the logo. Hold on. Let me get the paint cam. Oh, no. I can't get the paint cam off of there. I can get the... Um, banner off of there. So hold on. That is my text banner. So if y'all have not gotten on my text list, then um, text hated that number so that you can get notified when I go live. Um, that's what that phone number was for. So this is our door hanger. It says, hey, sunshine. We got the little denim pocket. It's so fun and cute to do. Very summery. And then we did the tiered tray yesterday. So let me show you the tiered tray pieces. Hold on. I'm put my drink somewhere. What was that? Something fell. I think it was a Posca pen. Yeah, it's a Posca pen. Hold on. Dropping everything. Okay. So this is our tiered tray set that we did um, on the video yesterday. Let me move these little pieces out the way. Okay. So we've got a tag. Um, this is like if you do the little strings of wood beads and you like to put a tag on the end of them, that's what this is for. And you could use it for um, other reasons or other purposes as well, like a keychain or just like a cute little hang tag on, you know, some decor that you have or something like that. So that's the tag. Here is the little truck. Super cute. It's a sunshine. Got little uh, layered pieces on it. And then this is our denim pocket that we did and we distressed with a little daisy on it. I love that. I love the little denim pocket. It's my favorite. And then we have the little chalkboard sign that says, Hey, sunshine with the daisy. And then we have, Hey guys, I see some more y'all coming in. Um, Ashley says she just painted the door hanger last night and the little half balls fit perfectly on two small daisies. Oh, that's awesome. Okay. So yeah, we talked about that yesterday. This is the banner that goes with the tiered tray set. And we were talking yesterday, where did I put those? Did I put them back in the drawer? I might have stuck them back in the drawer, yeah. So these, um, the, the little daisy banner, as well as like some of the other pieces that go with this, with all of these uh, projects, 
Um, I just thought yesterday, how cute would it be if you took some of these half wood balls? Um, I've used these on projects before, so let me hold this up so you can see what I'm talking about. See how it's a, uh, I'll put it like that, you can see. So it's a little wood ball, but it's just the half of it. It's like, you know, flat on the back. They sell these on Amazon in different sizes. This one um, is a little small, but you could make it work, but they do sell them a little bit bigger. Um, so I thought that would be super cute if you painted it yellow and then put it in the center of the flower. I just thought that would be really cute. And then you could do it on any of these, really. Like, it fits a little bit better on that one. Um, and then, let's see. Yeah, it fits on those. I think these are three-quarter inch balls. And I was saying yesterday how, like, you could do a one inch or a seven-eighths inch would be, like, the best size. But I thought that would be really cute and just give it, like, an extra little something-something. So, anyway, super cute. All right, let me get these set aside and we'll do our shaker set so um, the clubhouse doors open next Tuesday in the meantime if you want to get on the waiting list so that you don't miss um, when the doors open you can click the link in this video description um, for the video we're on right now and get on the waiting list so I will shoot you an email when the doors open because you're gonna want to join on the first day it's we're open next Tuesday okay June 1st through Sunday um, however I'm doing bonus projects all next week and if you join on Tuesday the first day we open, you get all five bonus projects. Every day that goes by, a bonus project gets dropped. So if you want all the bonus projects, you need to join on Tuesday. Um, the bonus projects are super fun. Let me pop a picture up here before we get started so y'all can see. And we'll I'll tell you uh, what they are. So these are the bonus projects available next week. Um, the one that is going to go away after Tuesday, the first one we drop is the apple picking tiered tray set, which is in the lower left corner of your screen. Um, so you've got your little uh, apple butter jar and your little truck and your little um, cooking or cooking cutting board. Um, that's, I think, it, what does it say? Fresh baked, served daily. And it's got like a little apple pie on there. Then you've got your 3D apple pie, your little apple cider donut sign, and then your cute little uh, banner with the Ray Dunn font. I call it the Ray Dunn font. It's not the Ray Dunn font, but it's a font that looks like the Ray Dunn writing. You know, like if y'all like, if you know what I'm talking about and you're a Ray Dunn fan and you like to decorate with all her stuff, um, that's what that looks like. So that one is going to go away after Tuesday. So if you want that one for sure, get in Tuesday. Um, the second one that's going to go away is going to be uh, the one above it, which is the Hey Sunshine um, Tablescape. So this is a new line that I've just um, created um, that I'm going to start putting in my Etsy shop. But the first one is going to just be a group uh, project. And these files are also exclusive to the group. They're not going to be for sale in my Etsy shop as well. So the Tablescape is a... Um, you get a napkin ring and you get a little place card and then you get the centerpiece. So the centerpiece is the box that you see that um, you can fill with whatever you want with, you know, I put flowers in it, um, but it's a like a stand up box for your table. Um, and the little chalkboard um, uh, place card, we're gonna paint with chalk paint so that you can write on it with a white chalk marker and you can put like little names on there. Um, so, Let's see. Oh, Anna says, if you're already a member, will you miss the one that goes away if you don't download it on the first day? No. So the way that it works, y'all, is that um, if you're already a member, you get all the bonus files for free. That's a member perk. OK, so those are going to be emailed to you on month. I'm sorry, not Monday, Tuesday. Tuesday is the day we open. They'll be emailed to you on Tuesday. They are the same way. They will be the same way. Um, I'm sorry, y'all can't talk today, that they are for the other files. Um, it will be uh, in your email, so you can click the link and it takes you to the Google Drive and that's where you can download them. So that link will always be good. Um, so you can always access them. You don't have to download them on that day to, to have them. Um, but you have to, if you're not a member, you have to join that day to get it. And these files are also exclusive to the group. Um, okay, so then I'm not sure what order I'm going to do the other three in. I, I don't have the, I have it 
already written down, but I don't have it in front of me. So the other three projects for the rest of the week are the um, Stars and Stripes pinwheel uh, door hanger, which is in the top, right? Um, which is super cute. I cannot wait to paint that. It's going to be, you know, very patriotic, all red, white, and blue. Um, and then you've got a sunrise, sunburn, sunset, repeat um, door hanger uh, below that. And that's going to be one of the other days. Super cute, super fun. I love that, that song. And then, um, the other one is a pink lemonade door hanger. That is so fun. It's got a little pennant banner. It's got a little picture with some ice cubes in it. And it says fresh squeeze, pink lemonade, 25 cents. Um, so all the projects are very fun and summery and bright and cheerful, um, for summer. So definitely join next Tuesday so you can grab all of those files. Um, now the files do, if you, if you don't get in on that day, I do sell the bonus files in the group. I don't sell them outside the group, but they are for sale, but there is a, they're for sale as a set later on in the group. Um, so, you know, if you just, but you get them for free if you join next week. So, okay, we are going to, let's see get rid of that picture so we can do our project today. Um, so yeah, if you have any questions, just let me know and we're going to get started. Okay. So if you have not done a shaker before, um, this is the way that a shaker works, or at least the way my shakers work, um, is that you get one framed piece and then you get one like 3d separate little piece that you can like, you know, set on a tiered tray. These People are like, okay, what do we do with these? Well, they look really cute on a tear tray. They look really cute just sitting out, you know, for decor for different times of year, different holidays and things like that. Um, and they're also great little uh, like kids projects and just little like girls night projects. If you want to just get together with your friends and just make something cute and fun. And you'll know if you haven't seen these before, you'll know why they're called shakers here in a few minutes because we'll get to that part. Um, but this is the, the framed piece. So I've painted the back with white chalk paint. I don't want it to look perfect and bright white. I just want it to look kind of um, aged and distressed. So we're going to do that. And then I'm going to paint the frame and we're going to do some, um, I'm going to do what I call my cheater method um, for the frame. So we are going to do some brown paint to make it look stained. And this is uh, Deco Art Milk Chocolate. And I'm just going to grab a baby wipe. And what I'm doing is just dabbing the baby wipe in the brown paint and just putting on a thin layer and just kind of wiping it. I probably did not need that much paint. You don't need a whole lot of paint for this technique. The purpose of this is pure laziness, y'all. Seriously, this is um, me not wanting to do stain because stain is messy and it takes a long time to dry sometimes. And I can just do this real fast and I'm done. So this is a quick and easy way to do stain. And typically I don't like to do stain indoors because of the smell. So um, I would look, it looks like I got some white paint on there. Let's see if I can just get it off with my fingernail. Yeah, it's fine. So I just typically slap a little brown paint on there and call it a day. And I love my baby wipes because I can wipe my the paint off my hands and um, also use them for the, the cheater method. All right. So we've got our frame done. And then these are the pieces that are going to go inside of our frame. Okay. So this is the way a shaker works. When you open the file, you will see... A couple of different materials. So you're going to have some things that need to be cut out of eighth inch wood and some things that need to be cut out of quarter inch wood. And then you're going to have some things that it'll say to cut out of um, either acetate. Well, you definitely need the acetate. Um, and then you can do some cardstock. So if you've never heard of acetate, you don't know what I'm talking about, don't panic. It's not complicated. It's super easy. I will show it to you in just a minute. But what you need to know for now is that this backer is cut out of quarter inch and then this piece is cut out of eighth inch. And there's a reason for that because we're going to need all our layers to line up. But in the file, it's very clear as to 
whoops, stuff sticking to my arm, as to what cuts out of what material. And I just use eighth inch birch and eighth inch, uh, I'm sorry, eighth inch birch and quarter inch birch for this. So we only need to paint the parts that are going to show. So we only need to paint this front um, piece here with a little bit of blue paint. I'm trying to make all of my projects for this week um, kind of matchy matchy so they look pretty when they're all staged together. Um, let's see. I re Melissa says she recently downloaded the May files. There are files named with one wood and those I cannot open. Okay. If you have problems opening a file, um, then just email me at amy at lulubeandesigns.com and we can figure out why they're not downloading. Typically, it's an issue with uh, your computer if you're using Windows 10. Windows 10 can uh, sometimes need you to click. There's something that you have to click. I can't remember off the top of my head what it is to get your file to come up correctly. It is super simple. So that's probably all it is. Make sure that you're getting your file from your computer and not trying to get it from an iPad or a phone or something like that. Because when you first download it, um, you need to do it from the Google Drive. And you can do that, I think, from an iPad, but it's just easier if you get it on your computer first. Okay, so I'm just putting a light coat on here. I don't need this to be perfect because I want it to look like denim. And we're gonna distress that a little further here in a minute. So I'm just gonna set that aside to dry. I go through a lot of baby wipes, y'all. As you can probably see. You're welcome. Yeah, just email me. We'll talk about it. Okay, so then this is the little sun that our little um, sequins are gonna go in. So I'm gonna paint that. I was debating on painting it gray. I think I am. I'm going to paint it gray because the backer is white. So I've got to make sure that our colors are going to show up. So I'm only painting this thin piece, the eighth inch piece. I'm not painting the thick backer. And you'll see why in just a minute. You only paint the eighth inch pieces. Um, except for, you know, of course, except for the frame over there. The frame is, I cut that out of quarter inch. I know this all sounds confusing, but I promise you in the file, it's very clear and it's super easy. It tells you exactly what layers cut out of what pieces. And once you make one, you'll be like, oh, this is easy. All right. So we've got that in gray and we don't need to paint that. And then let me think, what color am I going to want these letters? These letters are going to go on the framed piece. So I think maybe I'm going to do them in black because I want them to really pop against the white. Now, um, I've done my little trick here where I've put my letters down on a piece of tape that's sticky sat up. And then I've taped that, that piece of tape down with other pieces of tape that go <laughs> that are sticky side down. So... That is just um, an easy way to get your letters to hold still for you while you paint them. And I'm using a black Posca marker. I love my Posca pens. You can get these on Amazon or Joanne Fabrics has them. Um, if you're looking for the link to get them on Amazon, if you go to my website, lulubeandesigns.com, and click on supply list, I have a whole list of the supplies that I use for most of my laser projects with the links there for you. All right. <clears throat> I have a tickle in my throat. I'm trying not to cough. Yesterday I was trying not to sneeze, but now I'm trying not to cough. All right. Now, what I've done here is I've cut a little piece of cardstock out of, um, I've, well, I've cut a little piece of cardstock out. I did do that with my laser. Okay. People email me all the time. The most common question I get is, um, did you cut your cardstock with a Cricut? 
No, I have a silhouette machine. I did not cut it with my silhouette machine. I cut it with my laser. You can cut it with your laser or Glowforge. I don't know off the top of my head the settings for cutting it um, with your Glowforge or your laser, though. I'm sorry. I do not have them in front of me. But I, uh, I do know that it takes very little power, and it's very fast to cut cardstock because it's cardstock. So it's, like, super easy to cut. All right, we are going to paint the back of this flower. So this piece is cut out of eighth inch wood and we're going to paint this white. Just using some white chalk paint. So this is going to be the back of our flower, our 3D flower, like our freestanding piece. If you're super confused, it will all come together here in just a few minutes because you'll see how easy and quick these are to put together. They're really fun. There's also each month for the projects in the group, you get a supply list to tell you the colors that I use and um, all the supplies that I use. So it makes it super easy to find everything that you need to, um, to do the projects. All right, and then for the front, so we're not gonna paint, again, we're not gonna paint this thick piece. We're gonna paint the eighth inch piece. And I'm gonna paint that with a Posca pen as well. And this is just my gray, let me see what color. Yeah, it's just gray. That's, that's what they call the color, just plain old gray. So y'all, I was in a critical part of the crown before I went live. Um, I'm dying to turn it back on and find out what happens. <laughs> Do y'all watch the crown? So I'm sucked in and I'm, yeah, I mean, obviously, if I, if I knew my history, I would know what happens, right? It's no mystery. It's You can look it up. <laughs> Do I know my British history? No, I do not. Um, um, sadly enough, I learned most of my history from watching historical fiction, which is not a good way to learn history at all. Uh, it's probably very inaccurate. <laughs> That's, you know, I felt like I learned a lot watching Downton Abbey. I now know about when the uh, refrigerator and central heating happened in history because of Downton Abbey, because I have, would have had no idea when that happened before that. Um, yeah, I love historical fiction. Do y'all like historical fiction? Do y'all, are y'all Downton Abbey fans and Crown fans? I don't like really, really old. I like more like 20th century historical fiction. That's kind of my jam. Um, I need to pick up a book is what I need to do. I love to read and I just have not read in so long because, um, you know, TikTok. <laughs> Are y'all on TikTok? It is so bad. It is such a time sucker. And yet every night I open the darn thing up and sometimes during the day as well. Who's on TikTok? Oh, Melissa, yeah, you fixed the issue. You had to extract the file and not do a direct download. Okay, perfect. I'm glad you figured it out. Yeah, I was going to say, usually the Google Drive is really easy to get files off of. Okay, so here is the gray piece. So, yeah, so, y'all, TikTok is on. Um, oh, Tammy, Tammy, you're watching. Hey, girl. Okay, so, Tammy, I'm embarrassed at how many TikToks I have sent to Tammy. It's embarrassing. It's It just shows how much I'm on TikTok. It's bad. Okay, so if you're on TikTok... Tammy, Tammy, I should let you, um, I should let you tell them. Do you know what I'm talking about with the, the guy in the red hoodie and the 40 plus year old ladies? Okay. Do y'all know about him? If you don't know about him, you need to get on TikTok. You need to go find him. 
because Lord have mercy. Um, yeah, <laughs> that's all I'm going to say about that. Um, you need to get on TikTok. It's quite entertaining, I have to say. Okay, y'all are probably like, what is she doing? I am, this is acetate, okay? Y'all are going to be confused because you're going to be like, what are you peeling off of it? So my acetate came with this tissue paper stuck to it. Not all acetate comes with that, I don't think. Um, because it came with that stuck to it, I cut it with it stuck to it, okay? I left it on. And the reason I did that is because it uh, doesn't leave the burn on the back like it does sometimes when I um, when I don't have that on there. You don't have to have backing on it. It will cut just fine without it, but mine had it and I just left it on there. I don't want you to go starting a fire or anything because that backing could possibly flame up, I guess. Just, I know my machine, my thunder laser, and I know what it's gonna do and what it's not gonna do. So I knew I could just cut it um, with the stuff with the tissue on and it would be fine. Um, but anyway, if you don't know what acetate is, this is what, um, when I did card, card making, paper crafting, I did Stampin' Up! back in the day. Um, this is the stuff that you use to make shaker cards. So if you ever made a shaker card and you needed like that clear, thin plastic stuff um, to go over to keep your sequins and stuff in, that's what this is. You can buy packs of this at the craft store. You can buy it on Amazon. It is on my supply list on my website. Um, Cricut, I think is the brand that I ordered, but this is, um, the piece, one of the pieces I cut out of acetate. Okay. I, uh, yes, I cut it with my laser. It cuts like butter. It, it cut on the same setting as I cut cardstock, which like I said, I don't remember off the top of my head what the setting was, but it cuts it like nothing because it's so thin. So, you know, if you're used to cutting, uh, wood and acrylic, then you're going to have no trouble at all cutting acetate. You can cut it with a silhouette or a Cricut if you want to, but you, you don't have to. You can cut everything with your laser. All right, so we have our little pieces. I'm going to put these where I won't lose them. Where will I not lose them? Let me put them over here by my little my mouse because they're clear, and I set them down, and then I can't find them. All right, um, let me real quick distress this. Um, I don't have any comments about the guy in the red hoodie. Y'all. Am I all alone here? Just me and Tammy with our red hoodie, hoodie man. All right. I don't even know his name to tell you. Just look up Cougar Town. Okay. <laughs> That's all I have to say about that. This Forrest Gump says, whoa, I'm throwing stuff around. All right. I've got a fan brush, a little distressed, like crappy brush that just, you know, Looks like it needs to be thrown in the trash can, quite honestly. And I'm gonna dip it in white paint. I always put too much white paint on here. You do not need a lot of white paint at all because I'm gonna wipe most of it right back off. I just want a little tiny bit of white paint on here. Throw that away so I won't wipe my hand on it. And then I'm gonna take the little denim pocket and just sort of go like that. because I just want it to look like denim. And some people have other techniques for doing denim. I saw somebody emailed me earlier this week and told me about this technique that they did um, where they actually took denim and they like, I guess they put paint on it. I can't remember how they said they did it, but they pressed the denim down onto the wood and it gave like the impression and it made it actually look like denim. And that was very cool. So I need to check that out. I need to try that. Um, so I think it just looks kind of like stonewashed, you know? I really like the way it turns out when we do it that way. All right, so now we're going to put together our little framed piece first. So I've got my backer. I'm going to use my Stick Fast Thick Glue, which is my go-to glue for, y'all can see it, for um, wood projects. Sometimes I use wood glue, but for small things, I use this because this dries fast. But I always tell y'all to be careful with it because it is like super glue. And you will glue your fingers together. And we're just doing our little frame. Put that together.
Yeah, um, the look that you get from your teenage daughter when you ask her to help you make a TikTok. <laughs> Just don't ask your teenager to help you make a TikTok because you'll get the eye roll, the super duper eye roll. You'll be banned. They'll be like, I am not doing that. You do not need to be on TikTok. That is inappropriate. You get all kinds of lectures from your teenagers. They do not want you on TikTok, which just makes me want to do it more, right? Yeah. <laughs> All right, so I'm gluing my frame down. Sometimes I get my clamps and I clamp this together, especially if the pieces are a little bit warped. These are not warped. Um, I don't think I'm gonna need, maybe I will. Maybe I'll clamp them, hold on. If I put my clamps back where I think, they are. Oh, Lord, I'm just throwing everything around. All right, I will get that in a minute. Okay, so let's just do this. Just to make sure that it's not going to shift around and let that dry for a minute. All right, so while that's drying, we'll do our other piece. Um, what we're going to need to do is glue our little piece of cardstock. And normally for cardstock, I use paper glue, but I have left the top off of this. That's not good. Yeah, I didn't think that was going to come out. So I may just, where's the top? Here it is. Let's try the other end. I don't even know if I've opened this end. This end looks like what I've been wanting. Oh, y'all, I didn't even know this was on here. Okay, so this is called Tombow Mono Liquid Glue. It's got like a little dabber thing on the other end of it that I didn't even know was there. This is what I've been wanting, and I didn't even know I had it. You don't need a lot of glue. But I like to use this kind of glue and not um, wood glue or not stick fast because, um, whoops, oh, I'm sliding all over the place. Because I think the other glue comes through the, um, the paper and like stains it. All right, so then we're gonna put the thick piece down first and the thick piece is the one that we did not paint. You don't need a ton of this glue. All right, and actually I'm gonna steal, cause I think that's on there pretty good. I'm gonna clamp this because it feels like this is, um, going to want to separate a little bit and I don't want this separating because then that's going to make our sequins not want to stay in their little places. All right, so we're going to let that dry and we're going to go back to this and make sure that we can fit everything on here before we glue it all down. Right. And then our letters should fit fine. Yeah, they'll fit fine under there. Okay. I gotta see if this is straight because I can't, I'm not, I don't have a bird's eye view like y'all do. Well, I kind of do if I look at the screen, I guess, right? I just never pay attention to the screen on that side. All right, so make sure that stays down. Let me see if y'all, if I've missed any comments or not. Okay. And then we're gonna go ahead and glue our cute little denim pocket down. All right. 
And then we're gonna glue the thick piece that we did not paint. One here. Let me just hold that down for a second because I need to get my sequins out. I actually have not gotten my sequins out yet. I'm just going to need, yeah, just white and yellow. All right, we will let this dry. We keep, we just go back and forth, letting things dry here. Putting stuff down just for like weight. All right, so then I'll go back to this piece. Okay, so this piece is dry. So let me get out some sequins that are the color that I want to use. All right, there's some yellow in that pack. So I put the link to the sequins um, on my website as well. So it's on the supply list if you are looking for packs of sequins like this. Mine are a hot mess because um, they have just been used and loved and thrown around and I'm wondering if I even have any. I don't know where my white ones are. These are white snowflakes. That's not going to work. I know I have white somewhere. They even have shape sequins. So some of my other sets, these are really cute. If you can see that, these are flowers. Um, so those would be really cute on some of the shakers. And then these hearts. I've used these hearts before. I know it's probably hard to see in that pack, but these are little like heart shapes. If you look on um, in my Etsy shop, you can see some of the shaker sets, uh, the completed pictures. You may use some of that gold. Um, all right, let me try to find some white here. These little cups. Where is my white? That is problematic. Hold on. All right, we are gonna to have to pick white out of this little cup of miscellaneous sequins here. That's okay, we'll make it work. All right, so I'm going to put yellow in the center. If I can get the pack of sequins open. Oh, thank you for sprinkling, Tammy, I appreciate it. There's two Tammies on here now. All right, so we're doing some yellow. And what I think makes it look really pretty is if you um, do some variations in the same color family. So um, this is already open, so let me open this up. You'll see what I mean here in just a sec. So I'm gonna grab a, a few gold because mixing up the gold and the yellow in there just makes that look really pretty. And maybe some of these. Now, if you get a color in there that you don't want, like I see an orange kind of bronzy one in there. Where's my little tool? There it is. I have this little, oh, Lord y'all, hold on. Sorry, did I make anybody dizzy? I must knock my camera over. Let me get straight again. There we go. Sorry about that. I've got too much stuff piled on my desk. All right, so this is called um, the Silhouette Pick Me Up Tool. Camera focus. There it is. Silhouette Pick Me Up Tool. And this is sold where like all the Cricut and Silhouette stuff is in the craft store. And it's got this tacky little end on it and it's I don't even know what it is it's just some sort of tacky little stuff and so if you are trying to pick up um, sequins that have roamed around where you don't want them that is what I use to get 
sequins. That might be the only color that got in there that I didn't want, just that one. Yeah, these are all gold and yellow. All right, so that's gonna work for that. I really needed, I really needed more white. I didn't realize that my white, I wonder if I can get away with silver for the outside of the flower. Mm. These are snowflakes. All right, hold up, y'all. Let me see what we're going to do. Ooh, this is pretty. Hold up, we got to use some of this. This is pretty. All right, this is in the brown family, but there's this iridescent color that caught my eye for the middle that makes it look a little bit more like a sun. I like that. Put that in there. Get that one out. Okay. So we don't need those anymore, but we still need white. What are we going to do? Guess I'm going to have to go to Hobby Lobby. Wah. I have to make a trip to Hobby Lobby. That's terrible to get my white sequins. All right, I'm going to use, we're going to just do, we're going to do silver. The lighting in here is terrible today because the light, the sun went behind a cloud right before I went live. You could make this a different flower. You don't have to make this a daisy, of course, so you could do different colors. I just had it in my head that it would all be matchy matchy. We're going to throw some white in there too. It might be a little tedious for me to dig that white out, but I'm going to have to put some white in there or else it's not going to look like I want it to look. And yes, I know there's some gold going in there. I'm going to get it in a minute. I'm trying to grab mostly silver here. but there's other colors mixed in with my silver. This is not the best little thing to have sequins in. I wish they had come in like a deeper little segmented, you know, thingamabob. If you can find them sold separately, then yeah, purchase them sold separately and not all in like, trays like this. Okay, let me see. Um, make sure I'm not missing comments. Okay, I think we're good on that now. Let me be real OCD here and put some white. Oh, come on. Now I've pulled the sticky thing off. I'm a hot mess today, y'all. I think I can. Oh, you know what? I think I might have used it all. You can push up this stuff, the little sticky stuff, but I think I've gotten to the point when I've, I've like done that enough that I've used all the, the sticky. And I had two of them in my little thing, but I don't see the other one. I do not see it over here. It has disappeared. Oh, joy. All right, bear with me for a moment because I'm going to do something. I'm going to do something. I'm going to do. Y'all are going to laugh at me. Um, these are white. They're white iridescent, but 
your little tiny snowflakes. But that's what I got. So let me see. I don't think that you're going to be able to really tell, I'm pouring too many in here though, that that's what they are. I need white. I'm just not loving. I'm not loving it. I'm not loving it, y'all. Do y'all think we should do, should we maybe do some blue? Because we have blue in the denim. Would that look totally weird if I added blue in there? Tell me what y'all think. I want to put pink in there is what I want to do. Because pink and yellow, you know, summery. I love pink and yellow. But that doesn't go with the rest of my color scheme for the other June projects. And I like my, you know, my little um, projects to be color coordinated when I put all the pictures together because I just think, it, you know, it looks pretty like that. So comment and let me know what y'all think. Pink, blue, leave it alone with the silver and the iridescent white. Because these are not like white, white. They're like iridescent white, which is kind of not showing up that much. I don't know. Maybe I'll just leave it like that. It's not sticking at all. Disastrous is what this tutorial is. It's disastrous. Get out of there. Get out of there, gold. There we go. Okay, so trip to Hobby Lobby, list, white sequins. Actually, just more sequins in general. And another little pick-me-up tool. All right, I'm going to leave it alone. I'm going to leave it with silver and gold, and I'm just going to hope that I'm going to put that on. That doesn't look bizarre. I don't know. We'll see. We shall see. Okay, so the next step that you do after this is to put your clear acetate on here. So what you want to do is make sure that you um, don't get glue down inside of your shaker piece. Whoops, like I almost did. Do not get glue in there because then your uh, sequins won't want to move around. I've made a mess and I do not like messy. I like to keep my craft space neat. It bothers me that there's paint on the my table, my background as it is. And now I've made a big mess. All right. So then we put the acetate down. Get that on there because that's what's going to hold all of our little sequins in. And I think I'm going to set that aside with something heavy on it. Before I put the top on it, we're going to hop over here and finish the other piece. All right, so we've got this cutie patootie guy. And we're going to fill him with sequins as well. So does not take many to fill this up, as you can see, because it's not very big. And you want your sequins to be able to move. Where did I get those? Oh, here we go. The bronze color that I like. So pretty. Put some of those in there. And silver. 
Uh, we don't have a ton of silver either by itself. I think I'm just going to end up going with a mix of the sun colors is what I'm going to do. Because this little pocket has just a mix of sunny colors and that is what I've got. So that is what I'm going to do. Sometimes you got to work with what you got. enough in there yep okay and all right so then we take our piece of acetate for this one and again with the glue being very careful not to get it down in there There we are. All right, what are we hitting? We're hitting something. There we go. Let me just let that dry. Hey, Margie, how are you doing? And then we're going to take this piece and put it on top. All right, now we need to let that dry before we try to shake it. Oh, we got to put our words on here. It says, hey, sunshine. Okay, so let's get those glued down. And you can use your 3M tape, of course, on your letters if you prefer. Try not to glue your fingers together with your glue. I like this font because it's kind of whimsical, so it doesn't have to be straight necessarily. Um, so you don't have to stress over like, you know, perfectly lining up your letters with this one. So we will let that dry and then finish our other little flower. Just put the topper on here. 
I think this would be really cute in pink. I'm just saying, a big pink flower. Super cute. can't tell there's snowflakes in there y'all <laughs> um melissa says i think you've said before what type of glue you're using and what is the brand and type that is stick fast thick it's on my website if you go to lulubeandesigns.com it's on my supply list you can get it on amazon it's a little bit pricey but you it lasts forever it does and it's really really good for stuff like this because it's pretty much dry now okay so now we've got the surf flower and you can shake your, your little stuff around. And it's just cute. It's just a cute little shelf sitter, cute little ornament. And then same thing with your sign. So this says, hey, sunshine. And it's got the little pieces in there that shake around. So it just looks really cute, like sitting on your shelf. And it matches all of our other um pocket full of sunshine pieces that we're doing for June this month. So everything coordinates and um, you've got matching sets of everything. So there it is. You're very welcome. Okay. So thank y'all so much for joining me this week um, for all of the videos. Let me just pop this up here real quick so y'all can see one more time. Our pocket full of sunshine um, pieces that we have this week. So we've got our shelf sitter and um, our tiered tray and then we've got our door hanger and now we've got our shaker set. So those are our four sets for the month of June. Um, so we've made all those and then next week starting on Tuesday we're going to start making all the bonus projects. So uh, every day starting on Tuesday at one o'clock next week, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday and Saturday, I'm going to go live and I'm going to show you how to make these projects, um, the bonus projects for next week. So if you want to get on the waiting list, hop on my website and get on uh, the list to be notified when the doors open. And I will email you bright and early on Tuesday morning. Um, so thank you so much for joining me, guys. And I hope you have a wonderful weekend. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye.